So back in 2015, when I first heard that Donald Trump wanted to contest in the, for the presidency of the United States, I found it a bit laughable. But of course, after that, the journey has been fascinating and a man like Mr. Donald Trump is today heading the world's oldest democracy, which in itself is quite a story. So when respected journalist Bob Woodward actually came out with his book, which I've just read on my Kindle, uh, it's called Fear, Trump in the White House by Bob Woodward. I simply had to read it. Now, these are the top five points I would like to tell you about my experience of the book. First and foremost, this book provides you a fly on the wall perspective. It, it takes you to places which otherwise you and I can't access. It breaches those perimeters and actually makes you think and feel that what you are reading about, highly sensitive stuff, is actually all happening right in front of you, maybe on a stage or on a TV. It, the second most important thing, as I understood, is that the team that Donald Trump has created around him actually spends a lot of their own time in trying to divert or deflect his attention from pursuing his instincts. They, they try and take papers off his shelf, they try and distract his attention so that he actually doesn't do what he wants to do because all of those people believe that 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 preventing him from pursuing his instincts is actually a service. Go to their slow down a bit when it speaks of internal politics of the United States, when it speaks of the Robert Mueller probe against Donald Trump. The things that this book actually tells you is about the tweets that Donald Trump never ended up sending. That's right. Donald Trump, uh, as I've just described, his colleagues often try and, and distract him. This book actually quotes many such instances which would have led to major developments in the global arena had Donald Trump sent the tweet. The only sad part to... about it is that the book has already come out and Donald Trump is not even halfway through his presidency. I sincerely hope that Bob Woodward decides to write again. But all in all, I would definitely recommend this book to you, Fear Trump in the White House by Bob Woodward.